Shen, uh, what do you make of this? It still does not justify him not playing in the game. Mm. Unless he whipped Matt Patricia's and they escorted him to jail. And if I'm Coach Belichick, I bond him out. <laughs> Are you playing in this game? I agree. This doesn't justify him not playing. Mm. I don't care how contentious the argument got, Skip. Mm -hmm. There is no justification other than the arrogance of Coach Bill Belichick believing that Malcolm Butler is just another cog and we can win this game without him. That's all that was, Skip. As I mentioned before, Malcolm Butler got his start because Kyle Arrington, that was the DB, Skip, that was getting cooked he was getting in cooked. that game. He was. And, 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 and uh, Coach Belichick inserted Malcolm Butler. Yep. And you see, Skip, that's what he did. Oh, who else would have done that? Kyle Arrington's making seven, eight million dollars a year. An undrafted rookie gets inserted into the game. That's the genius. But see, Skip, what happens, you start getting high on your own supply. Yep. You start believing that. It's me. I'm I doing this. Yep. And, like, nah, you're not playing. And it ended up possibly costing him or his team a great chance at winning. That's what this all was. Because I've seen it before. I played 14 years. And I've seen coaches and players almost come to blows. And ain't nobody, ain't nobody didn't play the next game. As a matter of fact, they go back in the next series. Because it happened on the sideline, Skip. Let, practice? We talking about, oh, because he got into an argument at practice. Who in the hell haven't gotten into an argument with a coach at practice? Mm. And then that's the Super Bowl. Nah, nah, you you try to, you're going to make it. That's the game that you're going to choose. To, I'm going to put my foot down and show y'all I'm lead foot Bill. I once witnessed on Monday Night Football a teammate of yours, a white guy named Bill Romanowski, spit on yeah, a black player yes. named J.J. Stokes. Spit on him yes. right in the middle of Monday Night Football. Exactly. And you guys went, you, you figured it out. Figured it out. Right? Yes. And you went forward and Bill did not miss any games. Didn't right? miss any games. And guess no. what you did? You went what, and what, you won the Super Bowl. Skip, I, okay. can't, I can't imagine a scenario in which a player does something that he's not incarcerated. Because if you look at the night before the Super Bowl, uh, Eugene uh, Robinson, oh. he got arrested. He played in the game. He did. He got arrested. You talk about you going to bench a player for an argument, a disagreement, a, heat, a contentious disagreement with a coach, mm. and you're not going to let him play when he played the most snaps during the regular season? Yep. It makes no sense, but it makes perfect sense. If you're that coach, believe that it's all about you and nothing else matters but me. As long as I'm here, we got a chance to win. Mm. And that's what happened. I have sat here in this chair for four years telling you that it remains mysteriously suspicious. Mm -hmm. What happened to Malcolm Butler right. in that Super Bowl? Because I never got a plausible explanation right. for it in anything that mattered, anything that there was an off-field incident right. or, or something that, right. that required Belichick to just suspend him. Right. But this wasn't a suspension. This was just a benching. Right. And again, Matt Patricia went on to Detroit, failed has returned mm -hmm. one of, as you point out, two assistants right. who was allowed to come back because he is very close with Belichick. Right. He was his right-hand man. And I Cam can't... mentioned Patricia was in the office with Coach Belichick when they released him. Aha. Uh -huh. I, I missed that one, but that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he is joined at the hip with Belichick. That is correct. So if, if you attack Bill's boy, Matt Patricia, Coach Pencil as I call right. him, he was the defensive coordinator, if you get into it with them, I don't know what words were used. There's probably some curse words right. used. Yeah. And, and yet, it, is that egregious enough to bench him for the whole Super Bowl? Yeah, because nah. he had simply played the most snaps of anybody on your defense through the regular season. Right. And the, the first playoff games. Right. And, and then all of a sudden, you don't explain to the team. You just suddenly don't play him. And they had the backup corner whose name just escaped me, but mm -hmm. the, they, they acquired him. Eric from Rowe. Eric Rowe, thank you very much. But they'd acquired him from, from the Eagles. Eagles right. So this is classic Bill trying to polish his genius, saying, guess what? I won't play my best DB, the one who played the most. I'll play the one I got from Philly, and I'll show you that, that he will be the mm -hmm. secret ingredient right. here for right. me to beat Philly. Right. Well, not only did you not beat him, you gave up 41 <laughs> points to the backup quarterback for the Eagles. Mm -hmm. Nick Foles became Super Bowl MVP. Where is he now? Right. He's struggling in Chicago as the third-string quarterback, right? Yeah, look, I, I'm, I'm for discipline. But the Super Bowl ain't the time for discipline. Yep. Now, you come back next year, you know, hey, I'm, I'm going to have to find you 5500 7500 bucks. But you playing, your butt playing in this game. Whew. Oh, you're going to help me win it, Skip. I've seen – look, I've been in situations where – they released a the player, but they had him practice first. Yep. 
So you yeah. mean to tell me you can't get some benefits? You couldn't find no way to get benefit out of Malcolm Butler but three, four special team snaps? Mm -hmm. But see, Skip, when you arrogant and you believe it's you, yep. these are the kind of thoughts that you have that I can bench a guy that played all these snaps. Mm. That was my best DB. Mm. And, like, you know, I just bring somebody in and hey, he, he, they'll make it work. <laughs> okay. Seriously. I told you the next day it felt a little sabotagey because it put Brady in a predicament right. of he's just throwing his guts out. He throws for a playoff record, not a Super Bowl, playoff record, 5-0-5, right. five, oh, five, right. scores 33. I thought it should have been enough to beat the Eagles, but they lost 41-33. to 33, Correct. Which led to Tom Brady out here in Santa Monica mm -hmm. at a conference in which he was paid to do an interview with Jim Gray. And Jim asked him, do you feel appreciated by – Kraft and Belichick. Right. And he said, I plead the fifth. And that right. was the first negative words that ever came out of Tom Brady's mouth about his team. Yep. Are you happy I have my moments? Right. I have my moments? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it's because that happened. Mm -hmm. And this is the same Tom Brady. Well, that was one of the things happened. Yeah. Because you remember, Skip, they had already, already also, that goes back to the Steph Wickersham when he tried to get Garoppolo. Mm -hmm. So this is just piling on. Also, I, I don't know nothing about no football. Ask Tom. <laughs> that, that was another thing. So the they, flight they, right there, there, this was just the culmination. It was just building and building and building, and then it came to the crescendo. Is that you know, Coach? I want to you know, I want to say goodbye. I would like to meet. I'm busy, <laughs> so let's do this over the phone. Really? Okay. <laughs> Why that called Belichick low down? Why that called Belichick low down? Ooh, that joke low down for that one. So teammates, according to the Wickersham book, then at the in the post game, you know, they had they went ahead and had their get together. Right. It wasn't a party; it was a get together. Right. But teammates are asking Malcolm, w w "What happened?" And he said, "Well, it's because of those MFs." Right. You know, they point to the coaches. Right. Well, nobody even knew it. Right. Nobody in the locker room. It, wh whatever incident happened on the field, right. the, his they, teammates weren't aware of it, or, or they didn't think it rose to the level of yeah. him being skipped, not playing in the game. Yeah. If I cur if coaches curse me, you know, back and you curse the coach out, and, and the coach coach curse you out. You're like, okay, fine. I'm still gonna play, especially I'm dressed. Huh? That's not skip. I, I, I've, I've never, like I said, it's not surprising, given Coach Belichick's history, of he would do things like this. He's callous in his in his approach. He looks at players. They're not skip. They're 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 employees, mm. and no one employee is more important than the other. But it's the company. He's Jerry Krause. Organization win championship, yeah, not true. players. That's how he thinks. I agree, and he he loves Jerry. He he loved, he was yes. close with Jerry Krause. But but, but the Jerry point Krause is, didn't win no championships no, after Jordan left. No, that we is, go we that, go that see a fact. if he go win one without Brady. So now we have a Tom Brady who in Tampa Bay says, Antonio Brown, come on down, right. love you. I know you got your legal issues. Richard Sherman, I know you got some legal issues back home. It's okay, come on down. Right. We need you. You're going to be a great fit here with us. Right. And then he's got to look at Belichick benched Malcolm Butler mm -hmm. for some little back and forth with Man. the coach. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm waiting on Tom's book. Mm. Huh. That's yeah. the book I want. I, he might be able to let Seth Wickersham write it, <laughs> write it with him, but I want Brady's book. Because Brady going to tell that real good good. I, you mm. know what? I'm thinking he will. I, mean, yeah. I didn't used to think so. <laughs> but this new good. Tom, I think he's capable of just letting it all that fly. That thing might be on the New York Times bestseller scale oh. for like three, four years. <laughs> yeah. New Tom doesn't really care what he has to <laughs> no, say. No, he does And not. I like it. It's more fun to listen to the guy nowadays. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.